when I go home, I'll be going through c cigar redistribution. So if, I, you I, <clears throat> so if you shot a buffalo, how much would you sell it for? If you shot one, they do. They sell. I don't know. That's a good question. There's people that have raised them commercial. There's a lot of restaurants that have uh, buffalo burger. You know, they make burger out of it. It's quite quite popular. You can get buffalo burgers around western Montana and, and eastern Montana. I a buffalo's. I would think they're worth fifteen hundred bucks, two thousand dollars. Would they have to have a certificate? The, the, like, the whole animal. I don't know what it sells for. Like if you find a dead deer in um, like, like run over in England, you could sell it to the butchers for about a grand, I think. Really? Yeah, I think but so. it has to have a certificate in to Montana, say it's been fed properly. Yeah, well, you could do it dodgy, I yeah. imagine. In Montana, they, they're, they're like rabbits. Yeah. I mean, so many of them. So there's it's a like law where you cannot, it? which was passed about five years ago, irritated love it. You can't touch roadkill. If you if you hit a deer and then it's wounded and you shoot it in the head, you can't take it home. Or you can't... Really? No. Fish and game comes and they get them. And if it's fresh, they take the meat and they distribute it to poor people. But most of it goes goes bad they just it's just you drive down roads and it's just dead deer all the way down the road mm -hmm. i mean there's you know so so many of them white tail and mule deer what does somebody come and collect them and clean them up or no nah, they rot and carcasses and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they they get them off the road and uh, if it's fresh the the fish and game or you can call they'll come and they'll collect it they take it and they butcher it and they take the meat to homeless shelters and stuff this guy in the in the valley, there's this guy people that have big uh, butchering uh, businesses. I'm sure it's to your name. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah, take so. your deer, your elk, or your bear, and they they will make sausage. They'll cut. They'll give you the steaks, the rump steaks, the oh, really? t-bone. They, they cut the whole meat and they put it in packs. That's like it's my mate works. In so you don't have to do it. <clears throat> my mate, the dad's got one, and you know, he works there. The butcher and he used to chop them yeah. out, yeah. skin them, and he stinks when he comes. Yeah. When you go football after, he comes over football and he's got blood up his tongue, yeah. he has to take it off. It's a bloody deal. Yeah. Stinks. <laughs> My blood brother blood. turns most of his deer and antelope into sausage. The elk and his steaks and roasts. Elk is quite. Elk is. I'm trying elk. Elk is, is, is sort of. The, yeah. It's, it's quite a good job, though, isn't it? When you when you actually when you work in the bushes, you get paid quite well. Well, he does. I don't really know. Yeah. 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 These guys. People want to do it, don't like it. Yeah. That's like the window washers, isn't it? The window washers of Canary Wharf and stuff. They get paid loads because they have to. Guys are so quite dangerous here. as well. I'd I wonder do what, what do they get paid a windshield? I don't know, I, I, don't mean, know, but I know they, get, they get paid a lot. Yeah, if it's life-threatening, I imagine. A lot. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't do that. And you know, New York, I, I mean, <clears> London <throat> too, but New York's probably got more sky those, you like the World Trade Center was. Skyscrapers, yeah. That's and like, they had know, window on those all the way to mm -hmm. the top, you'd see them hanging. Yeah, so you know that uh, the light on top of Canary Wolf? There's one man who has to, this is what I've heard, I think this is true, one man who has to do it, and I think it's changed once a day or once a week, and he gets... ...come out, change the light bulb, because oh. he has to climb on top of it, change it, and then that's How that's often? It. I think once a day or once a week, I can't remember what one it was. But you've paid, like, loads for it, and that's all he has to do. Huh? I can't. I can't. Yeah. That ain't coming for this though, is it? Three. You can't, you gotta stare them down. You just don't move, you look right in their eye, you just keep staring at them. Really? You don't. I've got to do that. Oh, no. I don't go with it. I, I try and, uh, I've seen a lot of black bears. They're, but they're different. They're, you, they will move if you yell at them. And they will run if they hear you coming. That's why they'll give you a, if some, you can buy them in the shops, a hiking belt that you wear, it tinkles. They don't, they, it, the bears, the black bears will move off, but grizzlies, they prey on, they, which is why I like them. That's, they have no fear of, of men, no fear, no fear. Oh, there was just, just happened this fall in, in the wilderness, or, well, it was actually, I think it was in Glacier Park, which is, you know, close to Canada. The grizzlies for tourists, zero. <laughs> I don't think you should.
went hiking up, you know, when they weren't supposed to go. They were, they, I think they were kids working at the lodge, and they told them about their, they were from, I don't know, city. They didn't realize. And I ate all of them. Killed them all. Oh, was it actually eating? In the camp. Yeah, I bet the guy did the... A bear, and uh, they had to, they killed the bear. But to make sure they had the bear, they do an autopsy. They found the... No. Yeah. That's a true bit. But it's some of the pictures that they developed. Oh, yeah, yeah, Of yeah. the real people. Mm -hmm. Huh? God, that was a scary film. Whoa. Well, because most movies, there's some kind of happy ending. But, no. Yeah, I kind of, Just I kind of figured out, I said, no. That's the most thing I hate, sharks. Just because you can't see underneath I you. hate them too. I won't go if there's even... No. I, I'm terrified. I just hate things where I can't see it. When I can see it, then I'm not scared. And I found it was my shadow just below me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bora, my honeymoon in. They take you out on the coral reefs and, and they feed the sharks. And you get out of the boat with a snorkel and you go into the water, you snorkel. And the guy, the native, they've got a rope. I got back in the boat. I said, ah, and they can, oh, it's okay. And I'm sure it's okay because they do this all the time for the, for the people staying at the hotel. But I thought, all it would take is one of those sharks to go. They had an actual rope underwater. Well, they didn't want you to so don't go past like a this rope. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's for the people. But and the sharks are swimming. They come up and then he put out these chunks of meat. <laughs> what time yeah, is food ready? You think that movie Open Waters? No, I remember scared. once we was on a pedal in Spain, and then I jumped off. It was in the middle, the jellyfish was outside to swim mm. under, underneath the jellyfish to get. Have you? I once. Oh, yeah. Stung? Yeah. It's terrible. I've never been stung. Well, it starts so. kind of, you go, and they go, oh, you got, because they went. It was terrible. It was, took me a day and a half for it to... What, does it just oh, paralyze you? Oh, it bites you. Spink. Well, it didn't paralyze, but it hurts so bad. This was in Antigua, in the Caribbean, and we were, we were going from the hotel over to this place where they have cocktails and a band. So we're on the sailboat, and we get like... I'm not a great swimmer, but I don't know, 30 meters from... No, less than that, 20 meters from shore. And guys started diving off to swim to shore, and it's so warm. So I just dove off. But, and I saw, I saw one, you know, but I didn't realize I, I touched one of them. Hell, they had taken. It was terrible. I said, "Well, if I'd have known there were jellyfish in the area, I would have not have gone in." Should have warned you. Well, I was the only one. I mean, the other, was, there weren't that many, I guess. That's the best thing to do. Like, that's what they say. If you get to see. Oh, it's food mm. on the table, I think. Is there? Yeah, Going come in on. Right now. Come on in, Dirk. Mm. <coughs> I'm going to finish this. Do you want to put, put a shawl on you?